Hi everyone, this is U.S. immigration lawyer Michael Ashuri, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the EB-5 visa process, and I'm going to dis- I'm going to go through it step by step, and I'm going to explain each of the seven steps to getting your EB-5 visa. So, with that said, let's get started. First things first, what is an EB-5 visa? Basically, the EB-5 visa is an immigrant visa where you make an investment in a U.S. business and you create jobs for U.S. workers. And based on that investment and that job creation, you're eligible for a green card for you, your spouse, and your children. Now that we know what the EB-5 visa is, let's talk about some of the benefits. With an EB-5 visa, you qualify for a green card. With your green card, you can live and work anywhere in the United States. Your children have access to a U.S. education, and you're on the path to U.S. citizenship. So there's a number of amazing benefits associated with an EB-5 visa. So now that we talked over some of the introductory material, let's talk about what you came here for. Let's talk about the EB-5 visa process. Now, there's a lot of steps to the process and there's a lot of confusion surrounding this process. So let's uh, let's simplify it. Step one, consult with an immigration lawyer. The reason I say this is because when you consult with an immigration lawyer, you're going to learn whether uh, you need to do EB-5 or whether there's some options available to you that are much easier um, that don't necessarily that may not necessarily require an investment. But the only way to really make sure you're, you're doing things properly is to first consult with an immigration lawyer. Now, after you've done that and you've determined that EB-5 is the correct route for you, the next step is to select a business or a project to invest in. Um, now, you know, you, there's multiple options. You can purchase an existing business, you can start a new business, or you can invest in a regional center. Um, so once you've determined... At step two, you have to determine which one of these types of investments you're going to do. Once you figure that out, the next step is to make the investment. The investment must be made before we apply for anything. So the, uh, after you've decided what you're going to invest in, the next step is to actually go ahead and make the investment. Once you've done that, step four is where you actually apply uh, with immigration. And you basically do this by filing a form I-526. That's the first form that's filed uh, with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. And at the I-526, when, when that's filed, we include documentation showing that you've made an investment. We include a business plan that shows what type of uh, business you're investing in. And uh, we also show uh, the source of the investment funds. We make sure to make it very clear how you earned the funds that you're using to invest in the business. Because it's very important that we show that the funds have Uh, come from a lawful source. So um, important notes about this step is that we must show that the funds have been invested, but we do not need to show that all 10 jobs have been created. There's There's no requirement that the jobs be created at this stage. The jobs do not need to be created until later on. So that's an important thing that I wanna highlight. And we'll get to when the jobs need to be created um, a few steps from now, and we'll get to it soon. So that's step number four. Step number five, after your I-526 has been approved um, and there's a visa number that's available for you, the next step is to either adjust status or do consular processing. Now, an adjustment of status would be appropriate if you're inside the United States in some type of a valid non-immigrant status. And consular processing would be appropriate if you're outside of the United States. So that's step five. Now, step number six, once your adjustment of status has been approved or you got your immigrant visa and you entered the United States on your immigrant visa, you're now in a two-year period of conditional permanent residence. Now, basically what this means is that you have a green card with a two-year expiration date. And um, what needs to take place during this two-year period is that you must keep your funds invested in the business. So that, that those investment funds that you've invested in, in the business, you must show that you've kept the funds invested and you must also show that you've created 10 jobs. So, so your responsibilities during this two year period of conditional permanent residence is that you must keep the funds invested in the business 
And during this two year period, you must create the 10 full time jobs. And uh, so now, once you've done that, now, uh, three months before your two year period of conditional permanent residence expires, you're eligible to file the form I-829. Now the form I-829 is the application to remove the condition from your green card and become an unconditional permanent resident. This is basically going from having a two-year green card uh, to having a uh, unconditional green card. And again, like I mentioned before, what they want to see, what USCIS wants to see at this stage is that you've maintained your investment in your business and that you've created the 10 full-time jobs for US workers. So that's step number seven. And as a little bonus step, I wanna tell you step number eight is that is naturalization. Naturalization is the process of becoming a US citizen. Um, it's not mandatory, it's optional, and this is something that you would do um, down the line. There's gonna, I'll post some additional videos later on about the naturalization process, but I just wanted to include it in here um, just so you know that it's it's potentially an option for you down the line. So those are the steps, the EB-5, uh, the, the seven steps for the EB-5 visa process. And um, I really hope you guys like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, I've put my contact information in the description below. You can check out uh, all our contact information in addition, I've also included a special link to schedule a free consultation with our office. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to schedule a consultation uh, or you can email us, whatever you prefer, we'd be happy to help you. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.